Alrighty. Our story begins in the middle of the 40s, when a hopeful young soldier called Sam... Oh, uh, we're not doing that? Our story begins in the middle of last Tuesday, where a hopeless young freeloader called Sam is sipping a fancy cup of coffee with a name nobody can pronounce. Sam was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But not the actual spoon that he has in his mouth now. That is a different spoon. But a figurative spoon that represents <laughs> all the wealth and attention that he has been receiving from his parents. And their butlers. And their butler's parents. God, You're a man. douche, aren't you, Sam? Blink twice if yes. <laughs> he can't hear me. This is Sam's girlfriend. Also not being heard by Sam. She's mad at Sam for his lack of responsibility, produced by his large wealth. She also mentions the fact that Sam has forgotten her birthday for the third year in a row. Yes. Sam's girlfriend is upset. As with most rich and famous brats, Sam does not pick up on that. Instead, he decides to lay this gem. Things just work out for me, baby. I can't just run around and do stuff. I'd end up with a limp spine then, or something. Sam's girlfriend does something she should have done a long time ago. <laughs> Broccoli. Ow! Oh! Alright. Sam is laying unconscious on the floor. He gathers his strength and makes an effort to get up. Then he makes another effort to stand up straight. Sam is hit in the head so hard, he has to remind himself how to walk. He takes a right step. Then he takes a left step. Good job, Sam! You're very good at existing. You startle my child. An overprotective mother hurls a cup of coffee in Sam's face. He has to blink rapidly to regain his vision. Say something, Harold. Oh, gee. How is our son going to be a politician in? I thought okay, he was going to become an actor. Oh, what's the difference? Very good. Sam remembers the one thing he's good at, paying for stuff. So he turns around to pay for his beverage. Sam pays the guy 500 euros, barely covering the coffee. Thanks for the tip, douchebag. Sam decides to hurl another 500 at the guy. Not such a douchebag after all. Sam is hurling stacks of 500s left and right. He has no perception of money. Sam is about to spend his whole weekly allowance on tipping a barista named Tony. He really was hit hard in the head. Holy feces. I'll just start my own coffee shop. <laughs> Once again, Sam makes someone quit their Whoops. job by tipping them too much. So long, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye, Tony. You still being a bitch? Yeah, you still being a bitch. Sam spends a decade making his way out the door, which is pretty good for a guy with a major concussion. As Sam waggles outside, he sees his girlfriend on the other side of the road. Sam pulls himself together 
and rushes towards his soon-to-be ex-girlfriend. This is when a septic tank truck approaches Sam with an average speed of 90 kilometers per hour. The impact renders him eight types of dead. Okay, Sam. Goodbye. A bottle to the face would result in such a terrible fate for Sam. But a bottle won't be the only thing that will meet Sam's face today. There's also the ground in hell. <laughs> Outer hell. Sam does not like being dead a single bit. He also hates the eerie feeling of not having any cash on him. Then he finds seven sound? glowing notes in his pocket. That makes him feel reasonably better. He checks out <laughs> so that horrible curious. sound he's hearing. Not the horrible sound of the screaming souls around him. The other horribly irritating sound. The source of the sound is none other than obliteration and oblivion, extermination and extinction, the end, decease and demise, the grim reaper, death. He's trying to do a kickflip on a skateboard and is dressed like a douchebag for some reason. In his coarse, <laughs> horrifying voice, he lays this on Sam. Yo, yo, yo! You must be Sam from the info I was provided. Then he takes a yo, second look yo, at Sam yo. and his eye okay. sockets widen. Harder. Holy feces, dude! Your soul be like a diamond! Let me cut you a deal that we can seal. For reals? Aight, man, it decided. Well, the notes in Sam's pocket are something called a shred of life. Every soul has at least one, and it is the biggest unit in Hell's currency, followed by quality of life, school of life, sound of life, meaning of life, and thug life. <laughs> if you give me your shreds, I'll resurrect your face and get you out of Hell on one condition. You'll have to survive 24 hours with a handicap I choose under my supervision, bro. Sam I decides guess. to check out the rest of hell before doing any deals with supernatural beings. Coins on you. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be... Ooh, a plumber. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. All right, that sounds fair. Yes. Sam notices that the souls that get into hell are forced to get a job and become functioning souls of society. For most people, this is okay, but for Sam, it's horrifying. He hurls his shreds at death like he's never hurled piles of money before. Why, hello there, dear Wait, sir. Did she chop her Let's head see off? if we can find a job for you. You get to be Ooh, a minesweeper. That'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Could be worse. 
whatever. Kind of sounds fun. <laughs> Why, hello okay. there, dear sir. Let's see if we can know. find a job know. for you. Right. You get to be a struggling freelance artist. Oh, my. And that'll be all your shreds, I love how you still have your phone in your hand. This is truly hell! <laughs> yeah, you still paid him. Okay. Let's go back to well, death. Looks like it's time for lunch, dear sirs and madams. Uh, take all your concern related He to keeps the last shred for the next time he meets the gatekeeper of hell. Whenever that's going to be. Hehe. <laughs> I, bro. I only get to do these deals annually. But if you really want to live in biz, you have to do it manually. Also, I will stop speaking in rhymes now. <laughs> Sam has just traveled through time, space, and logic, and finds himself fully alive and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. Oh, damn. This is when he shows up. Death. Death. Yo, yo, yo! Oh, oh, God, you look horrible. I mean, <laughs> you look great, bro. Uh, you be okay? Can you hear me? Um, blink twice if yes. Oh, cool. You be alive. Everything be fine. All right, so this here be the dealing biz. All your body functions be manual, so you kind of have to do stuff on purpose. Um, you'll be turning kind of blue. Yeah. Might want to consider breathing. <gasps> All right. Bitchin! You be blinking and breathing, that be bitchin'. So, oh, all right. Yeah. Go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, you'll go to hell and I'll keep your shreds forever. I'll be over there doing kick flips if in you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, you be getting late for work. Sam does something that resembles walking toward the bathroom. Gonna do a kickflip now. Oh, God. Friggin' skateboard. Hi, right, let's see. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. <gasps> Sam holds on to that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. He decides to blink. With clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours, though. Sam tries to take a leak. Hey, dude, have you seen my... Oh. Uh... Blink, Sam, blink! Oh, oh, the seat fell. Sam takes a leak everywhere, including, but not limited to, himself. One empty bladder later, Sam moves on. You, you gotta piss off. Oh. Hey, dude, I'm just as frustrated. Blink, Sam, blink! Whoops, got one foot. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks like a mantis that's trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. Oh. 
Sam is clean as a okay. whistle. Good job, Sam. What are these all nice showers? <laughs> Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Clean and empty, Sam decides to find some clues. Dirty bring a skateboard. Hi, let's see here. Yeah! Yeah! Blink, Sam! Bl Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. Sam, what is over there, Sam? Oh. I don't know, let's find out. Nothing. Okay. You know. You could have sat there and been like, oh yeah, nothing over there. Okay. Okay. Sam enters his wardrobe. What will he wear today? He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. Dude, feeling Sam. more accomplished than ever. He proceeds to find a jacket. Like Only the best one will do. He settles for a mediocre one. Humble. Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He's not. What do you want, Rose? Daisy up there, go ahead, get on the bed. I said you can get on the bed. Blink, Sam! He puts on his shoes, living the dream of having shoes on. I'm gonna go back in there. Oops. Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. Oh. Sam decides to Damn. hurl himself down the stairs. <laughs> Apparently too used to hurling money around. <sighs> Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He oh, has fine. no time for playing oh, with a flappy rooster right play. now, though. Let me play. <sighs> that was either supposed to or not supposed to happen. We'll oh. never know. I don't think that was supposed to happen, dude. <laughs> Following this story at this time, and gang wars are still an escalating problem at Bridge Street, where the police are struggling to regain control. Commuters are advised to... Hey, Lucy, I'm home. Oh, hey, dude. Still alive, huh? Fuck you, Death. Fuck you. Your spine, Sam. It matters. Blink, Sam. Blink! There is a note saying, sent over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't breathe in while chewing. Love, Mom. <sighs> How hard is it to blink, Sam? Really? Really? Okay. 
Okay. <gasps> Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it before taking a sip. Sam drops the coffee. Dramatically. I was trying to do Sam hurls coffee into his eyes for reasons unknown. Out of cups. Out of hope. Alright, let's see if we can get this. Yeah. With some coffee in his system, Sam finds it easier to exist. Really? I hit LB and we're still broke spawn. He finally makes it out the front door. <laughs> beaten. Terrified. Stupid. <laughs> Dude, I am totally gonna kick flip hey, over your car. Mr. Don't you flip Ow. over my car. Dang. Oh, man, that hurt. You bastard. Dude, it was like that when I got there. You dick. might want to get that hood fixed. It it be loose. Uh yeah, I'll just get in the car. I just get in the car, yo. Hey, dude, I turned your automatic gearbox into a manual one for the what? funds. That be ironic or what? At this point, Sam notices that Dev isn't really a nice guy. I guess I should teach you how to drive a stick, huh? Him <laughs> 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 All right, so when starting the car, you want to press down the clutch pedal. Nobody has clutched anything for years. Good <laughs> luck, Sam. Now, while you have the clutch down, press the gas pedal. As you let go of the clutch, the car will start moving in biz. Good job, dude. You ain't as useless as you look, know what I mean? Now, to stop, you gotta move your right foot to the brake pedal. Left for us, he means. And obviously, press it down. Give stopping a go, dude. Nice. Now, start driving again, like I showed you. And obviously, you turn left and right with your arms. If you want to drive faster, you gotta use the stick, baby. To upshift, you press down the clutch and then yank the stick. <laughs> no, dude, you can't change gears without pressing down the clutch first. Obviously, you can't turn left when your hand be on the stick. So to turn left, you have to move your hand back to the steering wheel, y'all. And so Sam and the Lord of Damnation are on their merry way towards a new adventure together. Oh, I can Cozy. <laughs> Dude, there be an old lady on the road. Yo, go right. <sighs> we almost killed that lady. She ain't due for another a few hours. Listen, if you kill somebody before their time because I messed up your motoring skills, I will be in deep feces, okay? So keep your eyes on the road. If you almost kill someone, I'll stop the car, yo. But then, you'll have to start it all over again with the clutching bids. Right? You'd be good to go. Fuck you, Jeff. 
Anyway, dude, you're probably wondering why all this biz be happening to you. To tell you the truth, bro, it be all part of pure right, yo. <laughs> oh. Anyway, to tell you the truth, bro, it be all part of bureaucratic bull feces. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get in, right, dude? Holy feces! Anyway, the shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell? Yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell. No left, bro. Holy feces! Anyway. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell? Yeah, they be destroyed, yo. Holy feces! Anyway. The shreds of life you give to those gatekeepers to get into hell? Yeah, they be distributed between the bank of hell and Satan. Oh, yeah. What be that gray cloud in the middle of the road? Oh, feces! That be a whole school of old ladies. Get ready! Yo! Ah! Right! Ah! Left! Ah! Right! Ah! Left! Ah! What be up with all those old ladies today, bro? Hey, Sam. You're never gonna make it to work on time with all these grannies everywhere, dude. What do you say we take a shortcut? <laughs> Yo! And so Sam drives the car to a place <laughs> he has never been before. A place called Bridge Street. Oh, 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 dude. I hope it be safe here. Hope there be no, say, crazy gang members here or nothing. No, really though. Where be the crazy gang members? Oh, crazy gang members. Oh, excuse me, you be a crazy gang member? Don't you worry, I know where the crazy gang members be. To Death's surprise and Sam's relief, the gang members are lying dead on the ground. This is when Death notices a distinct silhouette in the distance. What be the deal, bro? Why be there? Oh, oh, Jesus. The silhouette is feeling. contention and enmity, bloodshed and hostility, Strife and strike, struggle, battle, war. She is neither wearing dumb clothes nor doing kickflips. She is just standing there after a job well done. Oh, holy feces, holy feces, it be her! I'll be my breath. Just be cool. It smells like death. Cool. Be cool. Okay, just don't be yourself. Hey, war. What? How it be going, babe? Wanna hitch a ride in these sweet wheels? I tell the one that can't be killed, but well, the can't be well. I'm bad, right to face and chill. I don't know. I tell the one. Oh, holy feces, here she comes. Hey, girl, where to? Just shut up and take me to the metro. Aren't you supposed to, like, reap a bunch of people, you knucklehead? I was, I was. But then I got bored, so now I hang out with my buddy Sammy here. Ain't it right, Sammy? Stop here. Just shut up. Okay, let's go. So instead of guiding endless amounts of confused souls to the afterlife, you waste time with this dumb, ugly mortal. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Yeah. Hey, hey, you want a cigarette? Uh, you are so annoying. You know I'm trying to quit. <sighs> Fine. Give me one. I hate you. Go right here. Stop here. Okay. Let's go. Hey, guess what? I totally landed a kickflip today. Take a left. 
stop here? Oh. Okay, let's go. Wow, you really landed a kickflip? That's kind of hot. Yeah, or, well, I almost landed a kickflip. <laughs> you know, Famine can do a frontside kickflip. Stop here. Okay, we can go. Oh, poor man. Oh, dang it! The grandma's be back! Yo! Right! Yo! Oh! I'd never be getting used to those grannies. Stop here. This is where I get off. Hi, babe. I'll see you around. Whatever. Join you like you do. <sighs> what you be looking at? Oh, snap! You be getting late for work, bro. Step on it as hard as you can if we gonna make it. Go, go, go! Yo, faster, faster! Faster, faster! Yo, dude, faster! Faster, dude, get up to fifth gear! Yo, faster, faster! Faster, dude, get up to fifth gear! Yo, faster, faster! Faster, faster! Yo, dude, faster! Yo, faster, faster! Almost fast enough, dude! Step on it! Almost fast enough! Oh, feces! Oh, shit. Stop! Stop! I can't. <laughs> uh. It's all your fault, Jess. Fuck you, dude. Feces! Did we kill somebody? Oh, please let it just be a rock or a hipster or something. Sam goes out the door to see what happened. He only has to follow Death's crying voice. Man, oh. <laughs> All right, Death, what are you bitching about? <laughs> this guy wasn't due. He wasn't due. What be I gonna do? Hey, wait a minute. Hey, Sam, can I borrow your last shred of life? Blink twice if yes. Blink the fuck that. <sighs> I guess we're doing this. We're doing this. Watch me breathe. Look deep into my eyes. It's alright, Sam. We got this. Fight the burning sensation. Spit in your eyes, man. Just do it. Just spit in your eyes. This one. <gasps> Fuck it. All right. Yo, yo, yo. Let's do a deal that we can seal. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, slap your salmon 57 times in 24 hours, or you'll be dead forever. Now, get out of here. What? <gasps> <laughs> I just had to. Anyway, let's get out of here. Weird. Fuck you. It's another busy day in Robocorp Inc. Where they produce automatic robots for fun, convenience, and most importantly, safety. Finally, Sam makes it to work. And only by having the most terrifying morning of his life. He waggles towards the entrance, still shaky after the events of his trip.
car looked just fine. I know I'm not the only one seeing this. So, after I blew my nose off in a laser accident, they gave me a robot nose. <laughs> and guess what? It can shoot lasers! What? Awesome, dude. So can my prosthetic eye. All right, Cyclops, relax. Ah, Robocorp's proudest and newest invention, the MaidBot. It is rumored to have over 3,000 functions, including pest control, rest control, and guest control. And it can make you a nice cup of coffee. Yes, Sam, do the splits. They'll respect you more. <laughs> For the seven billionth time, Sam has lost the key card to his office and has to request a new one from reception. Oh wait, can he... Can he even talk? Sam focuses all his brain energy on trying to speak well-formulated sentences. Uh, hello, Mr. Samuel. How can I help you? Oh, God. I... Uh... S I... Ah! Uh, uh, very good, sir. Uh, was there anything else? Oh, oh shit. I. I. You are a wordsmith, Sam. Of course, sir. Try not to lose it again. Oh, I did it! What? It spoke perfectly? Really? Sam takes the card and heads for his office. <sighs> We've seen Sam do weird. The elevator is occupied. Sam has no time for waiting. He wants to get around to doing nothing as soon as possible. I'm taken. And then... He meets his old nemesis, Stairs. <laughs> Taking his key card up the stairs. That's the real challenge. <sighs> Sam goes in the third door to his office area. Yeah, it is a dangerous job, but the health Where's benefits are going? awesome, dude! I blew off my leg in a laser accident, and they gave me a new one right away! This is Ingrid, Sam's secretary. Since Sam never gets any calls or does any actual work, oh, Ingrid has a level 80 warrior in every game ever made. Sam's office. A waste of space, according to everyone ever. Sam doesn't do much at work, simply because his father doesn't let him. According to Samuel Sr., he only has to show up, shut up, and not mess up. This gives Sam plenty of time to sharpen his skills on his favorite game, Flappy Rooster. Yes, he has one Just here too. Sam decides to try and beat his record of 10,000 points. Alright, Sam, you're in love with yourself. Let's do this. Someone knocks on Sam's door. It is Ingrid. Oh. Uh, Mr. Samuel, Mr. Welfenberg wants to speak with you. Also known as Samuel Sr., Sam's dad. He seems kind of angry. Take the elevator to his office. Oh, now the elevator is working. This one, after my 16th laser accident. Honestly, I can barely feel pain anymore. <sighs> okay, I guess I can't go that further. 
All right, let's see what Daddy wants. The soothing elevator music sets the mood for productivity and not asking questions. All of Sam's interactions with his old man have lately been reduced to short meetings in his office. Life is like riding your own rocket. I'm going in over here. Okay. That's it. Nobody, because I can't talk to her. Alright, let's see how bad I can fuck this up with Dad. This is Samuel Sr. He owns Robocorp Inc. And he is tired of the fact that Sam is always late to work. Sam is keeping the morale of his company down, and it is time for him to work for his money. No I'm more rich. fancy offices. You are starting at the bottom. Today, you start as a lefidium inserter in the storage room. Go down to the basement and get to work! Okay. You know, now of all days, it's a perfect day for you to be a, a dick. Sam has done weirder things to impress his dad. Fuck you, dad. Fuck you. Lafidium is a ridiculously rare material packed with energy. It is the key ingredient to the success behind the robots in Robocorp Inc. Its energy is measured in consciousness, and even just a little bit of the stuff could do wonders for artificial intelligence. Despite all his efforts, Sam ends up working for the first time in his life. At least he's alive. Sam's job is ridiculously simple. He has to pull the lever so a chunk of lefidium comes down. Then he has to put the required amount of lefidium in a robot's slot. Dude, your dad couldn't have picked a worse day to make you work with this stuff. I guess we'll be back in hell in no time. Gonna do a kickflip now. Dude, ah! not the place. Friggin' skateboard. Hi, right, let's see here. Yeah! Relax my body, bend in my knees. Sam's vision is blurrier than a Norwegian teenager at a wedding. He decides to blink. Let's see. Yeah! Blink, Sam! Blink! Kick flip now. Friggin' skateboard. Hi, let's see. Even that task gets too hard for Sam. He drops the incredibly toxic material. Bend in my knees. Blink, Sam! Blink! Sam figures out how to open an automatic door. Impressive, Sam. Gonna do a kickflip now. Nah! Friggin' skateboard. 
Hi, let's see. Yeah! Yeah, my body. And my knee. No! Yeah. Blink, Sam! Blink! I'm gonna do a kickflip okay. now. Okay, yeah. you Friggin' skateboard. Yeah, I hope you never get that kickflip. Hi, right, let's see here. Yeah! Relax my body. Bend in my knees. Blink, Sam! Blink! Blink, Sam! Blink! Oh, hey, I'm blinking, see? Gonna do a kickflip now. Friggin' <laughs> skateboard. Deep ah, let's see. <sighs> yeah! Get in this Relax my body. Bend in my knees. <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to push your ass. That's all I'm waiting for, Death. Blink, door. Sam! Blink! Yo, Sam! There. I can now totally kickflip over that box. Death no. says, having never actually landed a kickflip in his entire existence. Oh, God, no, don't do it. Yeah! You dumbass. Wait, did that crack? Death manages to spill lephidium all over every robot in the basement. Oh no, 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 no! Oh no, no, Sam! What are we gonna do, yo? Every robot in the basement gets too conscious and escapes. Sam has to get out of work ASAP, and this time with a good excuse. Don't you see, you doorknob? I was directly involved in waking those things to life. If they hurt anyone, I will be in all types of feces. Sam decides to take a last sip of water before his demise. How hard is it to of blink, course. Sam? You don't know what time. You don't know what time. Wait, it looks like Sam has a plan. Incredible! Sam short circuits the door! He will live to breathe manually another day. Gosh darn it, you be right, you beautiful son of a lemur. We do have to stop them.
that be what I be talking about, dude? What am I supposed to be doing with it? We are in deep feces, fellas. Someone exposed the robots to too much lithidium, and now they are all conscious. <laughs> he looks just like they are headed fuck, straight for I'm mushroom so orphanage. Population: three hundred lovely kids. All the robots that became conscious were produced in the last ten years. That means they have a large arsenal of functions, but are fragile as hell. We will have to use an old and sturdy manual bot to be able to take them down. <laughs> It is controlled right, manual. Why, why did it not see death? But gosh darn it, Johnson! None of us have done anything manually for years! Oh, I still do things manually sometimes! <laughs> Maybe I can... The world? Told you okay. she was doing a few hours. <laughs> Do we have any volunteers at all for this task? Mm -hmm. It is not that I believe in you, son, but I've never seen you actually do anything on your own before. So, at this point, <laughs> I just want to see what happens. Chillax, bro. You ain't on your own. Yo, yo, yo! We need to blow up those robots before they hurt somebody. Old death is pointing the way. Sam don't stop to ask why. Do I have to breathe? No. Oh my god, yes. Oh, what the feces. Shoot at that door, yo, so we can keep going. Shoot it two more times, bro. Your gun kind of sucks. Sam turns that door into toothpicks. He's packing heat. Oh, for feces sake, another door. Just use your missiles this time. Sam blasts through the door. He's done messing around. <laughs> Not magical struggles. Not shit, he right here. Darn it! That be a door we can't blow through! Throw me behind it so I can open it up. Aight! i be ready, but be careful! He hurls death without blinking! His only amigo! He has to breathe manually while his friend is gone. Joins his day long friend. It's a touch and reunion. Oh, feces. Can't get too close to those things. They get edgy. Oh, watch your battery and biz. All right, dude. Good to go. What if I just walk? <laughs> Sam takes out the first robot like he's taking out the trash. Yeah, I'd be that guy up. Whoa. <laughs> All right, Jeff. Get up here. Wait, wait, wait! I ain't ready! I ain't ready! Okay, I 
He encounters a running fella. Runner butts are sharp like a straight razor. Gotta pop them before they come too close. He pops them good. He encounters one of them old blue bots. Got to chuck old death at him. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Goodbye, <laughs> Big old fella pops up in front of Sam. He shoots, he misses. He shoots, misses. He shoots! He misses! He busts him up like he's getting paid for it! Paid in pain! Sam needs to use his shield more. No, I think I fixed it for you. at Tony's Cafe, like the good old days. My coffee shop! Oh, Lord, huh? Sam's suit shuts down. He needs to be more careful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. No, I think I fixed it, Sammy. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. Whoa. Oh God, that was horrible.
know what would be cool? <laughs> if you threw cars around. Picks up a car, uses it as a shield. He throws it when he's done with it. Might as well. More. Yeah, I get that. Go, 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 go! Just walk. Alright. You see how I beat that guy up? Okay, thank you for coming to you. What happens if I... Ain't no problem that don't need no fixing. Go, go, go! Heart ain't got no value no more. Trail and the orphanage is still standing. Maybe a good day after all. Whew. No dead kids. Oh, we be lucky. But then the wind turns. There's one last robot needing to be taken care of. The maid bot. Oh, oh feces, dude. In the Hold on lobby. to your flappy rooster. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them there missiles. Good old minds start ticking down. Sam gotta think fast. Uh. Hey, 
dude. Focus. Yes. Yes. Oh, 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 you got her good, dude. Yes. The main bug flies off, starts dropping presents. Jeez, dude. He walks on backwards. A uh, tactical uh, retreat. The maid bot gets the best of him again. Oh, no. All right, dude. Good to go. What I be talking about. Oh, yes! You got her good, dude. You're off, dude. Do it. Hundred orphans go to heaven, which is a totally nice place, by the way. But death, he caused Satan at least 300 shreds of life. He ain't gonna be happy. And Sam, well, he's got a lot on his mind right about now. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. Anyway, let's continue the story, shall we? <coughs> I have to disappear forever before he finds me. Mm. Just got to do one thing first. Death has risked a meeting with the one he's trying to avoid for one simple item. The Skatemate 3000. Super easy to do kickflips with. Oh, I'll be so close. I can almost taste the kickflips. <clears throat> but then he arrives. The Angel of Darkness. The evil spirit, Mephistopheles, Lucifer, Lucifer, the king of hell, Beelzebub, Satan. Oh, Satan. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I, I didn't, I wasn't. <laughs> what you be up to, bro? Oh, you know, Satan thing. Busy, busy, busy. Like a fly. <laughs> That's a... Yep, a good one. <laughs> so... I hear you killed 300 hairless apes. Kill, I said. <laughs> I would pass it by while it happened, yes, but... <coughs> and they were too young to sin. 
so they aren't even coming to hell. I can pay you back. I have 300 shreds. <laughs> and where did you get 300 shreds? <laughs> if you didn't steal them from me. Weekend jobs. <laughs> you are in deep feces. Meanwhile, Sam is trying to pull himself out of deep feces. There are only a few hours left to his curse. Not die, coffee. Oh, God. Get in my house, bird. Right as Sam is about to go to bed, she arrives. Whoa. Can you believe that idiot? He went ahead and got himself thrown in hell jail, so now I have to be both death and war. That's double shifts and no extra pay. <sighs> anyway, it says here that you were supposed to die almost 24 hours ago. Sam tries to say something along the lines of, No, no, please don't. This is no fun. This is no fun. But his lack of competence in the art of speaking manually only results in this happening. L -l 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 Okay, thanks, Death. Thanks, War. Fuck you. Put a hole in my chest, you know. Always want an extra hole in the breathing. Once again, Sam is in hell. Come on, I'm supposed to take you to the gate. Okay, how about this? I'll just stay here. Huh? Make your job harder. Damn, that's a big asshole. Why, hello there, dear sir. Let's see if we can find a job for you. You get to be, ooh, the son of the CEO of a huge company. You get your own office, and you get to play Flappy Rooster all day. Uh, that'll be all your shreds, dear sir. Sam remembers that he has none left. Oh, no shreds of life? Oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but this means you have to go to hell jail. Guards! <laughs> have a nice day. Oh, no shreds, eh? Oh. Well, it can happen to the best of us, mate. Let's take you to hell jail then, shall we? Such fun. Uh, take all your concern-related concerns up with upper management. What's your favorite movie, mate? Mine is It's a Wonderful Life. There you go, mate. Hope you will have a good time. Well, let's bring him some food. Take all concern-related concerns up with upper management. Oh, wait. His hell was working with his dad. Oh, 
Alright, let's see what just happened in here. Oh, and fuck. there he is. Death. Yo, 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 Sam. Oh, you came to save me. Oh, you truly be a bro, bro. So, what be the plan? I ain't here to save you. Ooh, dude. That be hardcore. But I suppose that be the only way. Aye. When the god comes back, I'll rip him in half and put you inside. You That's should what? be able to control him with your manual powers. Oh, no. Here he comes. Uh, do you like strawberry or chocolate cupcakes, mate? I brought them both just in case. <laughs> Heck yeah, it worked, bro. I right, crush these bars and then get your butt to the spot where we met for the first time. We be getting out of here, yo. As the still warm insides of the guard squeeze against Sam's skin, he thinks about how lucky he is to be rich, so he can pay for all the hours of therapy after this. How about we get you back to jail and watch a cozy movie together, sir? As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Mmm, delicious! I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to take you back. You are not being very nice right now, dear sir. Can we all go? You not being very nice. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. Demon soda is the best, dear sir. Can we all just... I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to... Sam violently kills a guard. <laughs> He'll just be reborn as a demon anyway. Of course, Sam doesn't know that. How about we get you back to jail? I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to take you back to jail. As Sam recovers, so does his foe. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I'll have to take you back to China. Can we all just be friends? How about... You are not being very nice right now. Sam slays another guard. Crazy and desperate. Scary, Sam! It isn't that hard! You're not being very nice right now, dear sir. I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I have to take you back to jail. You're not being very nice right now. And there goes another one! This goes on for a while. Let's just see what happens. Can't we all just be friends, dear sir? As Sam recovers, so does his foe. You're not being very nice. I'm terribly sorry. Can we all just be friends, dear sir? Welcome to hell. You made it! All right! Let me just open up a portal. Oh, snap. Silly, hairless ape. I'll make your pain beyond imaginable. Time to mention those concern-related concerns, Sam. Oh, shit. Okay. Ah! 
I? I? You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please. <laughs> you can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't. Just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. <laughs> you can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. <laughs> you can't just okay. stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't. Just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. Just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. I hit it. I hit it in it. Oh. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't. Just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. <laughs> You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. You can't just stroll in and out of hell as you please, ape. How the fuck do I dodge that? Stand still, god darn it! Stand still, god darn it! Stand still, god 
done it. Yeah. 
I did it too early. I did it too early that time. Cause you know, the ambitious. You like the ambitious. Oh my god. Death just do a kickflip. As Satan is distracted, Sam grabs the opportunity and grabs Satan's sword. How did he do that? I think. Ouch! What the feces, dude? Oh, sorry, dude. No offense, but you were being kind of a douche. Take me to a gosh darn hell hospital. Oh, uh, okay, dude. Okay. Oh, thanks for everything, Sammy. Of course you get to live again. I will even grant you one final wish. Sam looks up to the sky and wishes that the 300 orphans came back to life, safe and sound. Not that heaven is a bad place to be. But, 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 but that's 300 orphans and 300 shreds. I've been saving up for an eternity. Oh, fine. And so, Sam gets resurrected for the last time. <laughs> Hopefully. Our story ends in the middle of last Wednesday, where a sort of hopeful young man named Sam is about to make amends with his girlfriend. Aww. Whoa, you showed up on time for once. Ha <laughs> 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 <laughs>
fire, remember? I actually got a cramp in my hand from trying to do the controls. Other than that, though, not a bad game. Oh man! I made it! I made it! <laughs> Dude, I was just kidding. Damn. Damn. The end. Thank God! Are you kidding me? If you had any idea how long this process took, you're sitting there just playing the game whenever you damn well feel like it. Speedrunner, my ass! You couldn't <laughs> speedrun a... I don't even know what I'd use as a, as a simile for that. Because it's stupid! Speedrunning, I don't even know what that is. That even... This isn't even my normal speaking voice. I'm an American and I'm doing a British accent in this recording studio. I don't want to do it anymore. I've had it. I don't want to talk like this. Do you know how difficult that is? I'm, I'm going home. Jory, I'm out of here. Goodbye. Damn. Okay, bye. Oh, that's, that's sweet of them. Well, guys, that is Manual Samuel. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see y'all in the next stream. <laughs>